kind of a cool thing. It's hard to see in the light here, but I have a shell. This is a simple oil. And uh, the shell, you fill with oil. I took another seashell and uh, I run a just a simple wick up it. But this is how an easy, cheap oil lamp can be made. I'll fill it to about the rim right about there. I'm burning the, the rest of the oil I just dumped out of it, so that's why the wick is burning. Um, but you just use a standard wick or a piece of cotton or even fluff from a, uh, a uh, what are they called, a cattail. You roll it up and you lay it on the side here like this and it'll burn up here at the top, but it'll lay in the oil and it wicks the oil up out. This is kind of a little more advanced way. I found an old, another seashell and I shoved the, it's a regular wick that's for a, a lantern that I put in there. It's just a interesting way to light up the area. Now right now I got some light for the camera, but what I'll do is I'll turn this off and you guys can see exactly how much light this thing puts out. And uh, I fill them to the rim, just below where the where it burns, with just regular old spent used cooking oil. You can use uh, that or that fancy oil for the tiki torches. I just found it's a good way to get rid of old cooking oil. Um, olive oil works really good and burns nice too. But simple to use. I've got this in here right now up on the roof and uh, eh, that doesn't put any much heat off yeah my hands right about there but it'll warm it up a little bit I mean you can see I want to put my hand yeah that's too close that's right there is about maybe 90 degrees that's about how warm it's getting but yeah I wanted to share that with you I'll put up a couple of little videos, some of the other little oil lamps and things, but it, lighting is as easy as an old shell, some oil, and a wick. And uh, you light it and give you a period lantern.
Thank you.